we're here for our Sister Wives Rewatch, Season 9, Episode 3, all about Janelle. And it's or when Cody used to like a wife. This is basically a clip show. This is basically a rundown of a clip show where we don't even hear as much from Janelle as we do from Robin in the episode about <laughs> Janelle. <laughs> right. Which um, is typical. So we get a rerun. Of, it's always interesting to me, and people kind of get on me about this. I love Janelle, but I think it's interesting when they talk about their history. They don't consistently every time mention that she was married to Mary's brother. And what's even more interesting to me is that they don't do more to clarify that she, that relationship broke up and then she liked Cody. And I kind of wonder if there wasn't a little bit of... Overlap. I mean, I can't blame the gal if she saw someone and she's like, wow, they're really attractive, but I married. And then the marriage falls apart and goes, well... You know, now I can't blame her for thinking Cody's that guy, <laughs> but options are very limited. So, because I'm in that space, yes, in in that in that particular space. Someone asked me last night. I was out. Uh, I'm taking improv, yay! And I was out, and of course, we're all one of our different jobs and our history and comedy and stuff. And I mentioned I do this, <clears throat> and somebody was like, "Oh, so the real mystery is how did this dude get these three women?" And I'm like, "Well, they were raised in a cult, and the." The numbers are pretty skewed. I mean, I have to admit that based on what I've seen of other guys in that community, I can see why young Cody, who looked like he was at least fun and outgoing and, you know, he wasn't into the patriarchy and everything, seemed like a good option. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. It actually makes me a little ill. And when Cody and Janelle got together, they weren't step-siblings at the time. Yeah, they'd make a real point of, of well... They were step-siblings before they got married. married. But not when they first started dating. But not when they out. first met and, yeah, were dating. Or so we get whatever a, they call it. Courting, I think. I don't care. I don't know. So we get <clears throat> not a lot of new information. We get the reiteration she didn't know polygamy was even practiced until she was about 18. She, they, this is why I'm like, I, I'm not even trying to be nosy. I just don't know the timeline of like, when did she marry Mary's brother? Is that how she first married polygamists? He's obviously not a polygamist and a follower of the faith, but, you know. Anyway, don't know. I guess they don't care. So, and then she talks about how for the typical Mary and Cody were my polygamous friends. I used to kind of be like, I have polygamous friends. What, did, what was the term she used? They were my to token. I'm going to say token. I don't know if she did. I think she so, did. My token polygamous friends. They talk about how they originally rented a house from Janelle. And I'm like, I want to hear more about how Janelle had a house to rent out. I want to hear more about how Janelle's assets dissolved into the families and right. then Robin's. So three months before they got... So basically her whole family cut her off except her mom. Her mom and her went up to Wyoming to meet Cody and his family. So she could kind of check out if this legitimate. Is this a cult? Whatever. Can I get a boyfriend out of this? Yes, you can. So she met Wynn, who is uh, Cody's father. I guess a charismatic man. I mean, this is where I'm really like, I guess these things are attractive because I never would have liked Cody, even in my most desperate of days. <laughs> um, he's just not my type, and I don't see his father as being anything that's particularly... Well, at least he wasn't dealing drugs. Is that... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> a little dig at my past. Very short-lived relationship. Um, there's a talk about Janelle's kids. We go to the ranch and they spend time with... Because they could spend time with Cody's mom and Janelle's mom and Janelle's mom's husband and their grandfather because they do that. It's interesting to me... I, what My comment was, oh, it's interesting to me that, that uh, Christine's kids and Mary's child never really went up. And apparently I was told... Uh, this is like fourth-hand knowledge that from McKelty. McKelty claims in her Patreon that she also went to the ranch, but they never said that. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I um, mean, who's her? Anyway. But it seems like we saw many times in the show with Janelle's boys at least coming back from the ranch and there was no McKelty. But, I mean, I guess they all went to the ranch. I don't really know. Um... Uh, I'm trying to find... Oh, then they showed this clip. I was so mad about it. Because what they showed was, it's really hard to co-parent with my sister wives. And I was like, that's such a bizarre clip. Oh, because... that clip they took completely out of context? Yeah, because I was like, I know that she talks all the time. Even when her and Christine had more tension, they always co-parented. That they, they had this whole deal. They went through that whole thing where Janelle prefers to work versus things like driving kids around. Checking their homework, which I, I totally, I totally can get her point 
Um, that's our family structure is kind of the same. John does a lot of the driving around, and I do a lot of the like grunt labor. It's changed over the years. It has. That's not always been our dynamic, but it's what how it is now. So I totally get her point. She's like, you know, if I'm gonna just drive them around and check homework, Christine likes doing that. I'll have her do it, and I'll go work sixty hours a week. And then it's just, it's kind of sad because she's like, wow, you know, it's so long since I've been in that place, you know, because they're all sitting there not doing that. But then they cut to the actual clip of co-parenting. And what she said was, when we all lived in different houses, it's hard to co-parent with my sister wives. Yeah. The opposite context. And then she's like, but now that we're all in the cul-de-sac, it's so much easier. They can all... So she, what thought, she said was you, they could go to other houses and do stuff. I think what they meant is they could go to Christine's house. So if you thought that the TLC's, what, what, how do we put that? I don't know. Where they show everything. Deceptive editing. Oh. Deceptive editing. Yeah. If you think that's a new thing, nope. Then they talk about how they show them and the supermarket all goofing off, and Janelle's like, "When I hear about this, it makes me just not want to be there." I am the same way. I don't mind being in the center of attention at appropriate times, like on a stage, speaking at a conference, speaking in front of class. Those are appropriate places. I find it like we went, well, I shouldn't say this. When you're acting like annoying teenagers, being annoying in public, it's annoying. Well, I'm just calling this thing for all, all I could picture is the person who's like, oh, I just got to get the Cheerios. And there's the three of them like dancing with a camera crew. And I'm not saying they're bad people for it. I can say that Robin's a bad person we for other things. We can say that Robin is. But not for that. But I totally get Janelle when she's like, I don't want to be out there with them. I 100% viscerally get that when um, I was in, we had this, we've shared this experience about like youth groups when we were in church and they would after church go out and it always made me wildly uncomfortable when a lot of them would go out and it would like overtake a, a restaurant and they'd move tables. I'd be like, no, can we just sit separately? I don't think we should move the tables. Like, could it be a little quieter? And so I stopped going out with them because it felt really like, I don't know. Not only did it feel like, hey, is this how we want people to think of Christians? It also was just being a, kind of a jerk in general. And I was like, I you guess know. I just had better friends. Well, <laughs> I, I, I only have like one super clear memory. And so apparently I didn't go out with them very often. Mm. Um, at <laughs> least that particular combination. Because I went out with other groups all the time and it wasn't a problem. And we were like, we used to have a group of us that would all go surfing Sunday mornings, and then we'd go to church Sunday evenings. And there was never a problem. We'd go out and get um, tacos and stuff afterwards. But anyway, she talks about that, and then she talks about the lip sync that we didn't see in our rewatch because it's no longer... I, I'm thinking that what a lot of people are guessing is that um, they had licensing for the music at the time. Oh, but... And rather than renegotiate the licensing, they just pulled, pulled the, episode. the episodes. But they talk about how they were really pressuring her to lip sync, and they all were really pressuring her. And she kind of got choked up and ran out of the room. And she's like, I just... And it's it and then is, Cody was sweet and followed. Oh, wait, no. No, that he didn't. Did happen. I know. He's such a bonehead. Because it's like, yeah, she, she, you know, take a moment off camera and tell her that whatever, you know, no one's going to force her to do anything she's not comfortable with. Stuff like that. But no, he's like, oh, no, what to do? Um, he had to go check with his friend. Yeah, his he had to ask, his he had to ask a guy. I don't know if this is, if I missed it. Oh, there was there, there. But it's just so hard because you hear her talking and she's like, I just have such a hard time with people looking at me and kind of like being perceived and being present and having people notice me. And I'm like, oh. And I know some of that is just that, that she's reserved and that she's shy. But also like, and you know, she and this is what's funny is in real life, there's been this push by Robin to say that she's shy. And I just said, I just don't see that behavior in any way. And I gave like a dozen examples. But see, Janelle talks about it where she says, you know, I, I, I've lived, I just, we decided to live this very public life and I really don't like doing it. And I'm like, I 100% believe Janelle. 100%. And you see it because even in this episode about her, she's like, I feel so uncomfortable having a whole episode about me and talking about me. And... Robin's jumping in a lot to explain how Janelle is. And I'm like, okay, if there's one person I don't want to hear about. Hear from. Hear from. It's, have in the room present. It's definitely Robin. So Maddie and Hunter, they talk about how it was the hardest time of their life when they met Utah. Heartbreaking. So hard to watch. Um, it's so difficult. She talks so much about how difficult it was to watch her kids struggle. Cody kind of comes in with it, but I'm a little bit like... I'm a little bit like, dude, you were only there one-fourth of the time. If that, well, I mean, and soon to not be that. And it wasn't even one-fourth of the time. It was one-fourth of, like, the evenings. 
especially when he dumped Mary, it was still like he probably saw Christine and Janelle one-fourth of the time, but he never saw Mary, so... And then they go into the whole thing about romance and being more <clears throat> pragmatic, and they make a point of clarifying that when Cody said they're like two guys, he was specifically referring to buying furniture to decorate the house. A lot of people remember that quote as him talking about their whole relationship. And I'm like, well, first of all, I have a problem with that because the assumption of that is that guys inherently are easier to shop for than to shop with than women. And I think that that's variation across the sexes where you have people who are very, very particular and people who are very, like, both of us are very gut instinct. We well, go in, we know we, what we when like. When we go grocery shopping, we don't mess around. We're in and out. If it takes us 15 minutes, something really took us a long time. And it's funny because um, <clears throat> for years we would go shopping when we first moved out more rural areas. So it was, just, it was a bigger trip in. Every single, John had to point out to me that I was like, okay, let's make this quick. He's like, you know, you say that every single time and we always do you need you don't have to keep reassuring me to be quick uh i had some leftover trauma from shopping with my mom I oh think, man who was or, not or that getting way. on an airplane with your mom or Dude, not getting yeah. on an airplane anything with your that mom. required haste and to keep things moving was not in my mom's but anyway oh you want me to go faster i'll go slower but even like when we remodeled our kitchen we oh went into gosh. the place we were in and out in 40 minutes, and the guy was like, I've never had a client. But we just knew what we liked. It didn't, you know, if we didn't know, one minute was sufficient amount of time to think because we had already, not only are we quick deciders, we've also spent a significant amount of time thinking about it before we arrived. Well, and a, a part of it was like, okay, well, I we got married. I moved into your house, and so it was your kitchen before it was ours. And I was like, if she's got an opinion, hers goes first, and if she doesn't, I'll put my opinion in it, and yeah, we were in and out and, like, done. Yeah, the guy was like, I've never. He's like, are you seriously done? Like, you don't want to take it home and think? And we're like, no. And it looked gorgeous, too. But he was uh, like, I've never had someone this. I have, like, five hours booked out for this appointment. <laughs> we were sucker. Like, done. We were done. Um, but, but, yeah, anyway. Anyway. But, I mean, like, I think that's closer to what he's talking about because him saying that they're, like, two dudes... I think implies one that dudes are superior, but two that that is. Of course, I mean, of course, no that was part of it for Cody. For Cody, yeah, but that's probably why I hate it. Anyway, they go into how they have a very uncomplicated life. That she is one of her apparently her pitches was that she when they were going to get married was that she's <clears> low <throat> maintenance, which I totally get. Um, what's funny is I think I think that that all is just really biased in the sense of I love Janelle, but she does have some pretty hard and fast like she doesn't want her freedom impinged on she doesn't want people telling her what to do when cody was like you can't have the dog she's like whatever you can't see your kid she was like whatever it's just a matter of the things that maybe some of the other wives were important to them wasn't important to her um and uh yeah he still screwed it up so then they talk about Co uh, logan leaving and how she's entered this new phase in her life where kids are starting to leave and her youngest are getting older. So, like, she's no longer having little, little kids, and she's starting to think about what's coming next in her life. And, and we learn from Robin how that feels. Yeah, Robin discusses what it's like to have... I'm like, she's literally the only person there that does not have a child who has left the house. In fact... And doesn't have one for five or ten years to come fact, at this point. In fact, as near as I can tell, this episode was filmed in 2016... And she still doesn't. Seven years later, she still doesn't have any children that have left but the house. But she knows how Janelle feels about her kids leaving. Unless Dayton's left. We don't know anything about Dayton. Um, I think he might st still be there, but um, he but he is like gone. Seems like a smart dude like Logan. Leave He's, me the F out of this mess. Like, he has said, like, no more of this. I, I We haven't seen him in several seasons. So good for him. Good for him. We support, <laughs> we support that when children make that decision. Um... Uh, we're the same, we're like two guys when it comes to decorating. So then we discuss Janelle's weight loss and, uh, and then we see the PMS clip, which we just discussed like two months ago. And she's like, it makes me mad all over again. And I'll say that this is one of the signs I think that Cody had such great, deep affection for Janelle is. No, it is does come out in at least two times in this episode. Where, where he Clearly backtracks. He's like, I was being an idiot. I was being dumb. I shouldn't have said anything. I can't imagine him ever saying that about something that Mary or Christine had an issue with. 
Or kids. Um, or kids, but this is definitely the case. I, I joked that they, so they did the group interview, I'm guessing Mary's house, just because. Yeah, probably. It was clearly one of the houses. And then, but I was like, are they, are, then they did like, they put them in a corner and they did like individual ones. And I'm like, the lighting is so weird. It looks like they're in a dark castle and filming. So I said, interview from the castle. And then we hear about Janelle talking about the thing with Mary, about how the walking over to Mary's house to ask about maybe going into therapy was one of the hardest things she did. And Mary kind of just being like, yeah, I kind of felt like saying screw her. Not in those exact words, but that exact idea. And you wonder if Mary's already got a foot out. And then the weirdest thing happened, which is, to me, which is Robin was like, Mary's voice will be heard. And I was like, that's what Mary has been saying for several years now. In more, you know, season 17, 18, 19, that she says, my voice will be heard. Now, I don't think Mary is coming out of her shell. She is saying more. But, like, people thought when she last season said, my voice will be heard, she, they meant that she was going to, like, write a book or something. And then, so far that hasn't happened. But I'm wondering if that whole Mary's voice will be heard thing started with Robin back then. And that was something that Robin kept telling her. Um, and then now Mary's telling us because it's like, I am all for Mary's voice being heard. I will be at the front of the line taking notes. But it, and she has season 19 done a little bit more with like calling things out. But I feel like it's a but fraction. We're, we're ready for the dam to break. Yeah, for really. But I thought it was so interesting because I was like, this phrase, is this something that Mary was saying to Robin back then? Because I believe this Maybe is the first. Maybe it's like a plig phrase, like keep sweet. It might be. Or like their safe thing. So a lot of people, a lot of people have thought that this safe thing came with Robin, but Christine was using it beforehand, and my understanding is that it was very, very common in that culture to talk about safe because you would use a lot of like these people aren't safe to talk about mom, daddy having two mommies, and these people are safe and only staying with people who are safe and stuff like that, and it's like deeply, deeply ingrained in their family. So I can't blame Robin for that, but I do wonder if this is something Robin's repeated that Mary said. Or if Mary's repeating something Robin said, and unfortunately, given how much I think Mary was really under Robin's control, I kind of think that that's maybe something Robin has said to Mary. Um, and then what's interesting was they, the Christine comments that a reconciliation between Mary and Robin, I'm sorry, Mary and Janelle, would be something the kids would like to see. And I was like, why don't they ever ask these people? They'll say the most bizarre, out-of-pocket thing, and they'll have no follow-up. Which kids? Why do the kids well, feel TLC this way? TLC is more, more concerned with deceptive editing. So. Well, I mean, I think that is coming straight from... Um, I think they're called Puddle Monkeys is the name of the construction? I don't know, babe. I... Am I getting... I, I might be getting two different, uh, two different production companies mixed up. Don't look at me like that. I don't know. That sounds... That sounds kind of bad. But we'll see. <clears throat> Puddle Monkey Productions and Figure 8 Films. Okay, you really wow. freaked me out. I was... Because you said it, and all of a sudden I thought, is this some, like... Is you this... said it. Wait, I said it. Well, then, no, but then you said, that doesn't sound right. And then all of a sudden in my head I was like... Is this some sort of slur My bad. You were that right. I haven't ever heard before? Uh, it sure sounds like one. It kind of does sound a little bit... I feel like anything with the word monkey sounds a little like... Please please don't guess in the comments what it sounds like. Let's not let's not do that. But it did sort of... When, you, when I said it, all of a sudden I was like, is this some new slang that we're too old to know? Apparently not. And right. I've accidentally confused. But yeah, I think it's the production company. But yeah, I mean, and I'm not saying that, that there's anything inherently wrong with the kids would like to see Mary and Janelle go along. It's just, I would generally... We'd like a follow-up on the, that one. Are the kids concerned? You know, you've always presented it as whatever problems they had, it wasn't a big deal. Are these a big deal that were... Like, I didn't see it as affecting the family currently. Like, let me know. Which kids is it? So, you know, is it like Leon? Is it Janelle's kids? Is it, is it Robin's kids? You know, whatever. But uh, yeah, so thank you for joining us today. We will talk to you later. Bye.